Okay, guys, welcome back. We're gonna try and finish off here. For a um, free game that's certainly packed with stories. We've already read over an hour's worth of stories, and we still have something to go. Yes. Back in the day when I worked in a camp, something bad happened to me. One summer night, a group of girls gathered in a music club. Just like you, they were going to summon the Queen of Spades. And just like you, they ended up telling scary stories. The youngest girl was the daughter of the nurse who was working in the camp. She just finished the second year of elementary school. They took her to the club with them for no reason. Eventually, they ran out of stories, so one of the girls came up to trick the poor thing. When the last story was over, she sneaked behind her and grabbed the poor girl by her legs. The little girl fainted and was out cold. While the others were bursting with laughter, of course, watching someone creeped out was enjoyable. It had not only gone bad. The harmless trick caused her to have a heart attack. If only they would call for the nurse. Well, you get the idea. Panic clouded their minds. They pulled the body to the nearby forest and hid it under fallen leaves even forgot to check her pulse. They hid the body and left. The police were looking for the body for three days. And they wouldn't have found her if it weren't for the dream the nurse had the night before. She saw her daughter in the dream. Her daughter led her to the canyon where her body was hidden. Once the nurse woke up, she ran to the canyon and found her daughter's body. The police had given up on the investigation. The report said it was an accident. She is dead after all. Why should we waste our time? The police thought. The nurse could do nothing but accept it. She buried her daughter and returned to her work. That is not the end, is it? You're right. As you know, pioneers always start a bonfire the last day of the shift. The shift wasn't an exception. When the fire was at its highest, a horrifying howl burst through the pioneers' ears. A girl sprang out of the fire covered in flames. Oh, how she cried! They managed to put the fire out, but it was too late. They couldn't save her. The burns had been severe. She died the next day. Was she one of those? Yes, she was. Now stop interrupting, you troll. The one who designed the trick. What about the others? For God's sakes, man, shut up and sit down. The others were found too. Eventually, they found the second one in the same canyon without arms, with her hurt cut out. The third girl drowned in the old well behind the camp water warehouse. And the last one, her body was found in the abandoned bomb shelter. She was gnawed to death by rats. Hold on! Our stories! Vera? Sasha? Lisa? Oya? This cannot be it! Tell me! Well, well, young man, save your voice. You're not trying to wake up the dead, are you? I don't believe this. 
You are just messing with me. Aren't you? Suit yourself. But the story is not over yet. As you can see, the nurse murdered them. And everyone in the camp suspected her. How did she find out who killed her daughter? The same way she found out where her daughter's body was. Her daughter told her in the dream. She wouldn't lie, don't you think? <laughs> the nurse got fired from the camp for no reason. And so I had to look for new work. Guess where the nurse works now? Here? Wrong. She works in a school. She sees the same nightmare every night. She sees her daughter and the girls who she killed. But sometimes... What? Sometimes she sees guests in the dream. Like her child. Dead? boy. It makes no sense. I am alive. And so is Barrow. And stop ya! We've known each other since elementary school. We all played sports together. Really? What's the last name of your coach? What is the name of your first teacher? I... I've forgotten. Let me out of here! Please! <laughs> He's buying it. Breathe out, stars. <laughs> you dang, that's not funny. You almost got me there. <laughs> Fine. Rise from the dead, Stopia. I can see you smiling. Uh-huh. How did you know about the stories? You weren't even here. It's a secret. Some secret it is. Nyasha definitely had a transmitter in her pocket. What a smart girl. Alright, it's time to go home, guys. But it's late. Can't we stay here till morning? No way, stars. Go home. May we come again tomorrow? Of course. Cool. So there you go. Thanks for playing. Smoke. VN team, thanks all who contributed and participated. Thank you for your support. We promise to entertain you with new games in the future. And they have all their stuff and Patreon links and such not. And everything else. Okay, let's see. If I click, is there anything else? Okay, no. So there you go. There is the end story. So that was a lot of stories. And remember, this is a free game over on Steam. If you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.